Able to save it. Asante plays it first time. Law. Arriaga on the turn. Arriaga back to his right foot. That's brilliant. A couple of touches to find the space. And it's 2 0 Indy. Little peek over his right shoulder. Into that back post. Give credit to Nikki Law to come arrive late, pick his head up, and then this, you just can't teach us. Takes his defenders for a dance. Cool, calm, composed finish. Nothing that Charleston Batter can do. Too much class there for a player of that standard, Artiaga. Well taken goal. Strikers finish to that far post. Here in Klinsman days of early 2016. He's better play in the Bundesliga with Stuttgart. Good opportunity. Here's Asante. The magician at work sends it. Yes! And there's the opening goal for the NBA 11. Stefano Pino, his fifth of the season on Memorial Day weekend. Let's get festive, shall we? Cue the smoke. In, out on the right. Ball is played into space for him. He's isolated against one back top. We hope for better weather next Saturday. Again, an earlier start time than usual, 4 o'clock, because of it being 500 weekend. New Mexico United, we hope you join us oh. there. Fjeldberg off to the races. Fjeldberg picks the side and finds the back of the net. Back to back weeks with goals for Jonas. Two goal lead going to the break. Cue the smoke for a second time tonight. Behind the back line where it sits up and it, he's able to run onto it. A brilliant ball, but even more so, a brilliant IQ to know where Fjeldberg was. Jonas Fjeldberg, the first Norwegian to play for the Indy 11. The young man had 22 goals in four years at the University of Dayton. Drafted by FC Cincinnati a year ago, had three goals in eight games. For he played. He, he came in in the last 10 minutes, and immediately he had three opportunities on goal. Oh, what a what a great build! What a ball by Pino. Iose with the left. Iose every time. Puts it in. Every time. In the 11 on top, one 0 What great interplay between Pino and Iose, and I don't understand where the Hartford defender went the back post and Iose again great touch helping by Indiana get on the board and right here the defender instead of tucking to the middle to pick up a man has got to slide over and and stop Iose's run first first priority got to stop the dribble scoring in the 40th minute with just five minutes left plus stoppage in the first half and he and Manuel Artiaga who are playing together up top right now as Law was on side, plays it across. Oh, oh. Off the bar. Side of the midfield, right side of the midfield, put him in the 10, and then all of a sudden he's playing outside back. Beautiful. Rough place to give up the ball there. He's taken back by Louisville for a short time. Now Law. Law cuts. Header in. The opening goal belongs to Pino. And Indy 11 has gone on the road and taken the air out of Lynn Family Stadium with their first goal of the season. Field three, Law, Ingram, and Felberg. Watch all of them. Good challenge on the right-hand side by Felberg. Not the greatest ball play in, but look at the line of confrontation. They've come very high, which allows them to have multiple options if and when it does break down. Nikki Law. Steady Eddie on the back post. Ball comes all the way back out. Sam Brown finds him. Quick touch and already head on a swivel. Where are my options? Where's my late delaying run? Gets Corbin Bone to balk at it a little bit. He bites. Beautiful ball whipped in. And the Brazilian gives them the early lead. 83rd minute by five corner. Delivery. Header toward the line. Tosh. Deflected, it hit the crossbar and appeared to stay out. In utter angst, what a ball whipped in by Corbin Ball. This is teasing Del Piccolo. Is it in? Well, I tell you, that's about as close as it comes. The substitute, Rodney Michael, down underneath. That looks to be across the line. Hard to tell from the angle. He undercuts it. Del Piccolo beats him. It's headed in. Obviously, aftermath hits the crossbar. Domino's out. From the view that we have, Mike, 
You see this come. Watch the player. You can't definitively say from where we're at that it's in. The referee's on the wrong side of that. He can't see it. All he sees is that outstretched arm. It's the youngster, 17-year-old Jackson Hopkins. It's saved by Panico. You can understand why, though, with the arm away from Sam Brown, youngster Jackson Hopkins steps up. L.A. Panico, seasoned vet right there. I owe the penalty kick goal on Sunday for the game winner. Oh, my I goodness. Oh, my goodness. Two in a week for the club's all-time leader oh. in matches played and assist. Hugh the Smoke in the 24th minute, and we're all tied at one. Let's take a look. Bends it perfectly around Bourgeois. Nothing that Warmel could do, and Sawinski had a bird's-eye view of it. Tied at one here in the 24th minute. What a hit. The Indy 11 would gladly take Salas in simply a one-goal lead. Four goals scored so far this year for the Indy 11. Only one of them have been in the first half. Nicky Law gives it a hit. Nicky Law finds the back of the net. What a hit. The Indy 11 are in, at home and in front for the first time this season. It is time to cue the smoke. And Indy, a goal to the good. Season ago, led the team and matches started. An occasional goal scorer. Then a fantastic opportunity for the veteran over 500 matches in England and Scotland.